All right, so in this episode, we are going to talk about the importance of having your HubSpot tracking script on your website, because if you haven't got this, you ain't tracking nothing. So let's start. There are three scenarios we've got. We've got, you've got everything on HubSpot. So you've got landing pages, website pages. Number two, you've got everything on WordPress or another website. Could be Squarespace being another one. Scenario three, you've got a combination. You might be using uh, your website on WordPress and you might be using HubSpot landing pages. So we're gonna run through the scenarios of what we do. So Craig, fire away with the first one. What happens is everything is on HubSpot. Well, the good news is if you've built your entire website on HubSpot, HubSpot CMS, you don't even need to worry about this tracking script. Nothing for you to do. So simple, scenario one, too easy. Number two though, let's say you've got your website built on WordPress. Well, that's when you need to come to settings, tracking analytics, tracking code, and you need to get this code. There's, there's a couple of options you've got at this point. Get this code and insert it into your WordPress site somehow. Maybe there's a setting that says globally insert a script. Uh, number two is you might be using uh, Google Tag Manager already on your site. Well, you can insert it via Google Tag Manager. We'll talk about that in a separate episode. If you don't even know what Google Tag Manager is, don't worry. Uh, probably means you don't have it, don't worry about it. But then the third option, and this is the way we recommend it, if you've got a WordPress site, you just download the WordPress plugin from this settings page. You install it in WordPress. Then you get your hub ID. This is ours, don't use our one. Use your own from your portal. Put that into the WordPress plugin settings and then it's all done for you. The plugin automatically inserts a script all through your WordPress site and then it's tracking back page views. If you've got pop-up forms, you want a chatbot from HubSpot to run on your site, this is all in place. So that's the second scenario, but then I guess, Ian, what's if they've got a mix? That's right. Final scenario, you'll probably notice we've done parts of it already. And our recommendation is, initially, if you are using uh, WordPress, use the plugin as your main site, and then you don't have to do anything if you're using landing pages. The second option, if you want to keep everything consistently in one place, use Google Tag Manager and manage it all from there. So first, those are the two things that I would recommend that you do. Now, this is a part of our HubShots framework where we help you get started and have a roadmap for using HubSpot. And this is one of the first parts. Now, if you do need help with that, feel free to contact us or fill out the form on hubshots.com and we'll be happy to help you install this on your site.